Hey everyone, welcome back. I wanted to give you all an update uh, because there's a lot of stuff that's been going on in my professional career and some people that are watching this channel seem destined to try and take me down. So I, as I said, there's some big news. Um, I was expecting to actually lose my job today. And it didn't happen. So I'll, I'll just cut to the chase. It didn't happen because there's a lot of stuff that I've done that kind of backs up my, my work. But the reason I almost lost my job today is because of the interview with Reason TV. And there was another video that was reported to HR. The biomed story where I went over uh, the incident with the doctor and how they had the fluid that was inside the machine and they wanted to keep it in the room and I told the doctor I can't leave without that machine. Somebody reported me for that and uh, they reported me to HR. I don't know if it's because they think I was being insubordinate or because, you know, doctors are holier than thou and I need to listen to every single thing that they say. It's not the case. So I did get, re I got reported to that, uh, for that video and HR basically said, you know, um, you, you did the video while you're at home. That's fine. And you still have uh, freedom of speech, you know? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, it, it's a very interesting situation because I didn't honestly think I did anything wrong. I didn't label my hospital. I didn't label the doctor that was involved or anybody for that matter. I just said that I had a coworker that was there when it happened, but somebody still took it upon themselves to look me up through LinkedIn and report me to the hospital HR department and try and get me fired. That takes some real audacity to do that. So the real reason that I got talked to by HR was because of the Reason TV interview. One, because there's a policy in place that there's no recordings on site. I didn't honestly know that I was being recorded to be edited and put into a video. I, at the time, I knew Reason Magazine wanted to do an interview. Reason Magazine infers that it's a publication, not a video. It doesn't matter. I, I hold no grudge against Reason whatsoever because they are serving a purpose and their purpose is right to repair and go for it, guys. I appreciate that. And I appreciate the positive light that you've shined on biomeds in general. Because as a career field, all I've ever wanted is for people to be more aware of who we are, what we do, and how we serve the biomed community, uh, how we serve the hospital community. We exist and we are a vital part of this fight. And I'm trying to recruit other people that want to be biomeds. And that's part of this training series is I want to help train people to be better biomeds. Like I'm training myself every day. I train myself to be a better biomed. And, you know, I'm trying to get people interested and excited about this career field to look into it because you guys, whoever's watching this, you're next. You're the future. And I've had 17 years of this career. I've done very well. I love this job. I absolutely love this job. And everything about what I do here is, is because I'm helping you guys, the next generation, to, to be better biomeds. So, um, anyway, for that one there, I explained myself to the HR. And there was a bizarre turn of events. Come to find out, my director who was there, that was a surprise, uh, and the HR lady and my hospital manager, they were all there. And in turn, they said that they would like to try and help me with my goals, which are, you know, to record these odd events and this training for posterity, for future. And they're going to do what they can to help me. And man, I do appreciate that. A lot of this, you know, this is hundreds of hours off my personal time committed to this, to you guys, to myself, uh, to my family through, through doing this. It's hundreds of hours and, you know, all this unnecessary stress. I didn't really need it. Um, my, my, my manager at my work was telling me, why don't you just stop making the videos in general if it's, you know, distracting you. 
my wife was telling me, why don't you just quit making the videos? And I don't think any of them really get it. They don't really get it. They don't really understand that this is, this has been part of who I am for a while. And through doing this, not only am I educating myself on the material, I'm educating myself on how to communicate better with other people. And if you didn't know, being a, a successful communicator is a vital part of who a biomed is. You are going to be talking to some very reputable people. It might be politicians. It's going to be definitely doctors. It's going to be, it's going to be um, directors. It's going to be people in some pretty powerful positions, people that are in charge of companies. There's going to be a lot of people that you're going to have to communicate with, and this is practice. Now, you guys can probably see at my earlier videos how I used to be versus how I, I am now. And it's almost like a night and day difference because this is practice for me. So, guys, um, I just want to let you know that I didn't lose my job today. I'm very happy about that um, because being fired for doing what you love would be an absolute tragedy. And um, I'm going to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I think I'm going to go drink some rum and uh, I'm going to celebrate tonight. Um, but I'm just keeping you guys updated that uh, fortunately I get to keep my job and I get to keep doing what I love doing, which is, uh, you know, helping other people be better, helping myself to be better and uh, learning from you guys. You guys have some really interesting stories and I love hearing about it, man. So uh, please feel free anytime you guys write me in the comments and uh, I try and respond back to each and every one of you. And if I don't, it's because YouTube's algorithm hides your comment from me and, and I go back through historically through my videos and make sure that I try and get back to everyone. So um, I love hearing from you all and I love the support that the biomed community has given me. I do appreciate that. That was the biggest nerve wracking thing about this whole situation is how am I going to be treated as a professional if I fail, if I fail at this, the at, at being able to present content, you know, if my content is inaccurate, if I can't stand in front of a camera. Um, thank you for all of this, guys. I'm going to go in and I'm going to see my family and give them a big old hug because I get to keep my job. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the support.